What is up guys? Welcome back for week four of the GBA. This week we are taking on Necro Stevo and his Victorian Shadow newly rebranded from the, um, what was it again? Utah Jasmine, that's it. <laughs> Cooper's team last season. So, um, uh, I don't know whether or not I'm going to be able to get the, uh, the team builder out in time once again. So just in case I don't, I plan on recording it, but I haven't actually done so yet. Uh, just in case I don't, I'll go over my sets really quickly. So we have uh, Specialty Defensive Zapdos, Sweeper Barbarical with Rocky MZ, uh, I have a Cassid Berry uh, Gorgeist with uh, Seed Bomb and Phantom Force, we have uh, Metagross with Colber Berry and Reflect, uh, Life Orb, Scallopede, yes that's right ladies and gentlemen, Life Orb, uh, Scallopede, <laughs> I am running a Life Orb, and then it's a mostly offensive uh, Lopany, but you guys are going to see most of the sets throughout the game, so I'm going to confirm the team here, and uh, we are linking up with Necro right now. The idea is going to be to uh, get up rocks, make sure they stay there by spin blocking, because his main forms of hazard removal are spin. He has Fortress and Delmize. He can also bring Defog on Rotom or on the uh, Togekiss, but both of those take super effective from rocks. So uh, yeah, let's start the battle. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be the uh, the idea here. It's going to be to keep up rocks and make sure Barbarical can sweep, because if he doesn't have a Focus Sash, he has no way of living plus two Barbarical's hits. So. Wow, he brought a very different team than what I was expecting. Is that Trick Room? Holy crap, hold on. Uh, Megazam, that, that. Okay, the other three are different. So this, uh, the Delmize is there. Not the Diggersby, and not the Togekiss. So we can replace those with uh, Lulin Executor, which I have to put at the top now. Actually, I'll just move Delmize over here. Uh, and then we have Lycanroc, which was behind here. So I'll actually move Delmize over here. And then I have uh, Araquanid, so let's see, Araquanid, where are you? Uh, you're over here, so I'll move Lycanroc over here. Alright, so, uh, very strange team, not what I was expecting at all. Um, especially defensive Zapdos, looks like it can put in some work. Uh, he did bring the Rotom Heat, so uh, Jar is not as effective, Jar is our Gorgeist, we have 45 seconds. Uh, Lopini does have Fake Out, and he has no way to really stop it. Uh, I just don't want him leading with Delmize and immediately getting uh, a huge hit off, so... Um, I mean, that would be okay. Yeah, I'm still gonna lead with Lopany. So we do have the Fake Out. We have a specially defensive Zapdos for Zam, as well as uh, the Kebia Berry on Jar, so I'm going to confirm this. And uh, he probably brought Protect on his Zam, which means I might hard switch out of Lopany. We're going to get right into this battle. Here we go. All right. So, uh, Lycanroc is an issue. Uh, I did run into that problem. He only brought one form of priority, to, though. He didn't bring two. So as long as I can keep my Barbarical above, like, 40%, I shouldn't die to a, uh, an Acel Rock at all. Even Life Orb. So we're going to lead off with Reen. He's going to lead off with... Kelvin, who is this? This is the Rotom, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Alright, so, free Fake Out. I'm just gonna go straight for it. Mega Evolve and Fake Out. Get off some damage on this thing. This might be his physically defensive wall. Uh, we're gonna find out right here from the damage. I'm gonna turn on my HP bar. I'm a little more prepared this time. Alright, let's go. Rotom Heat. Bringing it up all the, on the calc. Level 50. Max HP. Max Defense Bold. How much do you take? Uh, from Lopany. Uh, Reen with uh, 136 base attack. Fake out does one does 17 to 21. Okay, that's not bad at all. Return will do 43 to 52. He'll probably go for a. Uh, he'll probably end up going for a uh, a Will O Wisp on the following turn is what I'm expecting. So he's gonna stay in here. So we're gonna get off a fake out and then I'll go directly into Zapdos. I'm gonna have to U-turn out, unfortunately. Hopefully he's faster than me though. We'll see from the damage here. Getting off this fake out, how much is it gonna do? That does 30%, so that is not physically defensive. That is probably Scarfed, uh, is what I'm assuming. If we take off Bold, if we take off all the HP, and we make it Timid. Yeah, fake out does 29 to 36 and that did about uh, 30. 30 to 31, so... I'm going to assume that this thing has a tiny bit of HP, uh, probably just enough so that he can outspeed Lop when he's Scarfed, uh, and then, like, if he takes that off of speed, right? So let's say it's 84, for example, or 88, uh, 92. Uh, Fake Out does 27 to 32, so that's a mid-roll, yeah. All right, so we're going to go into Zap here. 
because we are specially defensive. And uh, that way, if he um, if he goes for a Will O Wisp or a Volt Switch, we're fine. Uh, there's not too much on his team that he can go into to take advantage of my lop, um, of advantage of my uh, my Zapdos, excuse me, because I do have. Because uh, if he goes into Lycanroc, I'll probably just you turn out and see what he does. Uh, or I can go directly into Metagross, either one. So, and I always have Lopany to Revenge kill his, uh, and I'm Mega Evolved already. So that means I'm gonna switch into his Lycanroc most of the time. So we're gonna get out of here. I don't feel like risking this. Obviously, Return would kill if he's not actually, uh, Scarfed, but he goes for Volt Switch, which indicates to me that he's probably Scarfed. Is that a crit? I'm especially defensive. No, it's just very, very offensive. Uh, to Zapdos at level 50. Volt Switch does 30 to 37. I didn't see exactly how much I'm at, but I'll find out in a second here. So we got Scarfed, Rotom, Heat. Keep that in mind. Uh, Alright. So what's he going into? I'm assuming Lycanroc. Lycanroc would be a pretty good switch in. I can always revenge the Lycanroc with Lopany, as long as I don't let it get up to plus six. <laughs> that would be just ridiculous. So, his Araquanid, uh, as long as I have a Reflect up, is not a threat to my Barbarical. I'm gonna want Rocks up soon, because his team is extremely weak to Rocks. Araquanid and the, and the Rotom specifically, but I think the entire team takes neutral damage, which is really nice. So strong first couple of turns. We both took about the same amount of damage on our Mons. We'll see what he does here. He's probably running out of, out of time right about now. Araquanid is an interesting bring. Considering that I took off Synthesis from Gorgeist and replaced it with Toxic for the Rotom switch. That's actually not too bad. He's gonna go into his Executor, which I do have HP Ice on this thing for. So he frisks my leftovers, which is not a big deal. And I am specially defensive, so I can take this thing on. So we're gonna go for a uh, Hidden Power Ice. Right here. Damage this thing slightly. And now I can assume that his Rotom is Scarfed. Which is really nice, actually. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, I kind of expected a, a defensive Rotom because it takes on Metagross, it takes on Scolipede if it doesn't have Rock Slide, which I would only really run for the uh, the Rotom, or and, and the Araquanid sort of, but I do have Poison Jab, so, and I would need that for Togekiss. I could run Rock Slide for that too, but anyway, you get my point. Um, physically defensive Rotom actually did put in a lot of work in this game, uh, because it could Pain Split up on Lopany after a Fake Out, and get up to a, a decent amount of health. It always threatens with Will-O-Wisp too, so... We are going to go for the HP Ice. If he stays in, this is a 2 at KO. Um, I want to see Executor Alola with, uh, let's say, Life Or- Is this one of his Zemons? Actually, hold on a second. Uh, let's see. Where is this? We're going to go to here. Executor is, in fact, one of his Zemons. Okay, uh, I should still be able to take a hit. Uh, Dragonium Z does 85 max from max special attack quiet. HP Ice is going to do 61 though. So we're going to get off a Hidden Power Ice here. I brought it specifically for this thing because I didn't want it just staying in on me. He's going to go for a Z move. Um, if it's Devastating Drake, it might knock me out. Depends. He needs, uh, he needs a decent roll because... Well, no, not really, actually. This might just straight knock me out. But it's fine, because this thing really only came for Zam. Now that he's wasted the Devastating Drake, though. Yeah. Oh, wow, we lived on one. Holy crap. Okay. Whew! All right. Thank you, Chise. Uh, you got flinched last week. Thank you for, uh, for living that. I'm going to Roost, because uh, Draco shouldn't kill me. Uh, it does 56, so yeah, I'm just outside of range. 56.8, uh, and if I lived on one, then... Okay, he needs an absolute max roll Draco to kill me. He got a pretty low roll, actually, right there. He got a pretty low roll. That's unfortunate. 
So we are going to, to roost on up here. I could knock this thing out, but uh, having everything healthy is always nice. Having this thing for the Delmize as well. I resist both its stabs. Is always nice. Um, having it as, as a switch into Rotom is going to be good too. So, I was expecting to have to go into Metagross after and get up my rocks and then just block his spin and make sure that my uh, my Barbarical could come in and win. Uh, I EV'd my Barbarical to actually outspeed max speed Scarfed Rotom when I'm at plus two and not just Mega Zam, which is his fastest Mon. So I'm really, really glad that I did that. Because if he just so happened to decide to run max speed Rotom with Scarf, that's going to be really, really nice. Because now I kill everything. I probably kill this with a... The rock slide, yeah, definitely kill this with a rock slide. So we're gonna roost up. Draco is going to uh, fail to knock me out, probably. He goes for Trick Room, that's fine. Not sure what he's gonna go into after. He's faster than me now though, so this is actually good for me. Um, as I'm just gonna roost again. And then if his Lycanroc comes in, I'm faster than him. And then so is my Metagross. At least it should be. I doubt he'd run absolute max speed Lycanroc. Uh, min speed, excuse me. Absolute min speed Lycanroc doesn't make much sense. So, I'm going to go for another Roost here. Uh, if he Dracos, he gets himself down to minus two. He won't kill me outside of a crit. Uh, I'll be back up to a decent amount of, amount of health. And then what I can do is actually U-turn out uh, and gain momentum from that turn. Because if he decides to go into something like Delmize or uh, Raquinid, I can play in Consequence. Uh, so I have to tr keep track of Trick Room turns, so that was the first. Um, so that ended, so there's four Trick Room turns left. It's up on the screen. Four Trick Room. Uh, four turns. So I'll just keep it here and switch it down to three, two, one, and then zero. All right. It's not going too bad so far. That live was huge. That live was absolutely massive. I'm not gonna lie. But I am I am almost fully spadef, so here comes the Draco Meteor. So unless he crits again, this isn't gonna kill me. And he does not crit me. So I'm gonna get back even more health on this turn. After roost and leftovers. I'm a little bit higher than I was before. And now, it comes down to whether or not I want to roost and allow his Lycanroc in for free. But again, Trick Room's still up, so I have no reason not to roost. Because it doesn't matter what he does. Nice song. Um, yeah, Scallopede looks like it can absolutely body rock him. <clears throat> I have Poison Jab, Pin Missile, and uh, Superpower. Pin Missile was there for the uh, for the Zam in case it wants to sub on my Protect. That way I can break the, the sub with the first Pin Missile and then hit him with either one or two more. And uh, if I hit t uh, a three hit Pin Missile, I knock him out after a sub no matter what based on the amount of HP that he can run with my Lopini's speed at max. So, he's gonna withdraw. So I probably should've U-turned. In comes Bub, who's this? Is this the uh, Raquinid? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get off a Roost. So this thing's probably gonna be banded, I assume. Now I just wanna see if a Raquinid choice ban. Uh, Adamant. Choice, Banded, uh, he didn't bring Diggers V, so Gorgeist isn't as important, it's only good for spin blocking. Uh, level 50, it does knock out my Zapdos, um, does it, how, how much does it do to Gorgeist? That's way more physically defensive. Jar, it does 44 max, and my Seed Bomb does 30 to 36 to him, so, uh, there's three turns left on Trick Room. Uh, the first turn he set it up. The second turn he went for Draco, the third turn he switched out. So actually there's two turns left. So I'm gonna go for a switch out into my Gorgeist. As much as I don't want it to take damage, I kinda have to make this play. 
Had I been able to U-turn, I would have had a huge amount of initiative on this thing. Had I U-turned, rather, not had I been able to U-turn. We do see a Charty Berry, actually. He goes for Toxic. Okay, so he's not banded, so that's good. Uh, I do have Toxic on this thing as well. So that's probably what I'm going to go for here on this turn. Uh, sticky Webs don't bother me too much. So, because I do have the Zapdos. So yeah, I'm just going to go for a Toxic. I can't Willow this thing because of Water Bubble. So I'm going to wear it down through Toxic. So without the Choice Band, without any kind of boosting item, Max Attack Adamant does a max of 29.8 to me. One Trick Room turn left. Yeah. I'm glad I saw the Charty Berry. Because now I know how much I need with, um... I'm just gonna put max HP on the level 50 set. Uh, how much I need... If I actually need to use my Z-move with, uh, Barbarical. Barbarical. Jiraiya. Um, at plus two. I'm doing 193 to, one, to 229, so if I get off a Toxic here, I don't even care about his Charty Berry. It doesn't matter. So... I'm pretty free to just Toxic here. It hits everything on his team, like literally everything. He can Trick Room one more time, as long as he's in against the right thing. As long as it's not Metagross, Scolipede, uh, or Lopany. I want to say, because U-Turn's probably not knocking out his Executor. He's going to... Go for the liquidation, so this is going to do a little bit of damage. Yeah, not much though. So he's probably not very uh, offensively invested, is what I'm thinking, because that did about, what, 20%? Gorgeist, Jar, wait, wrong, wrong Gorgeist, okay. Uh, 25 to 28 with a max attack adamant, so it would have done a little bit more, I think. Uh, maybe not, maybe not, okay. So, we're gonna go for the, um, I'm still, I still want to keep this thing, though. Okay, the Trick Room's over, so I'm tempted to just go into my Metagross. Right here. Well, wow, the music changed abruptly. Um, I'm tempted to just go to Metagross here. Uh, because Metagross can take the hit, get up a Reflect, and get up Rocks. That's kind of what I need. So... Alternatively, because he didn't bring Diggersby, I don't need this as much. Uh, alternatively, I could just attack, weaken this thing. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the... the uh, I want to go for Toxic again. Yeah, I'm going to go for Toxic again. Because I feel like he'll switch. Nope. Alright, he stays in. And goes for another Liquidation. Okay. Alright, so all I'm going to do is, is keep this thing for the spin blocking. That's all I need it for, is just spin blocking. Alright, so we're going to go directly into uh, our Metagross, which is physically defensive. And I should be able to take the liquidation, no problem. Uh, Metagross, Alphonse, uh, yeah, Max Attack Adamant does 48 max to me, so it's not even a 2 hit KO. He didn't bring Fortress, so HP Fire on Metagross is not as important. I didn't mention that I had that, but I do. Um, then we can get up Rocks. And then if his Rotom comes in, I can switch into Zapdos. Yeah, he's taking a lot of rounds of Poison too, so... If I save the, uh, the Rockium for the Delmise... All right, Delmize, max HP. Let's say it's max, max HP, please. Uh, max defense, bold, level 50, versus our Barbarical, Jiraiya. Uh, plus two, Adamant Stone Edge does 64 to 76, and the Z-move would kill. Uh, I can Z-move Rock Slide him as well, potentially. Uh, well, I would always Z-move uh, Stone Edge. But yeah, we're gonna switch out here. Uh, I'm going to keep this, like I said, just for the spin blocking, because I need my rocks up. So we're going to get in Metagross here, as he's going to go for the... Uh, he's going to switch out. Okay, what's he going into? 
Tall girl. Okay, so that's gonna be the uh, the executor, which is fine. Uh, he's gonna see my Culberberry, which is okay. Now I just want to know if uh, Meteor Mash knocks this thing out, because it's not too physically bulky, right? 95, 85. Okay, that's not bad actually. I know he's max special attack. I know that much. Metagross, Alphonse, Meteor Mash to a level 50, does 37. He's at 35, right? Or is he at 40? Uh, he is at 30. He's at 30, sorry. Uh, no, 35, 35, yeah. 33 to 35, so I should knock him out right here. Um, question is, do I prioritize rocks? Or do I just go for the Meteor Mash? Um, Flamethrower to me does 85% max, so I can still hit him with a Meteor Mash after I go for Stealth Rocks. So yeah, I'm gonna go for Rocks. I'm gonna prioritize getting them up, because like I said, I need to break Sashes on potential like Lycan Rock. I need to weaken the uh, the Delmise. He's gonna go for the Flamethrower straight away. I don't even see its head, that's hilarious. Uh, so that's gonna do a lot. Uh, he doesn't get a burn, luckily. And we're just gonna go for Meteor Mash and try to knock this thing out. And if I get it, then we're looking really, really good. Because I can always block his spin. And my Zapdos is relatively healthy as well. So I can still switch into a Zam and U-turn out. Um, yeah, we're going to go for the Mash here. His form of hazard removal is, of course, the Delmise. Should it come in? We do hit, we connect the Meteor Mash, thank goodness, and we are going to knock out Tall Girl. Goodbye, Executor. Um, so I'll get that off the layout. So that's dead. Um, the rocks are up. Delmise can come in if it wants to. Uh, I'm probably just going to attack it, because even if he spins, he doesn't knock me out, and I can go for rocks on the following turn. So, and then I can go into Gorgeist on the next spin, if he doesn't knock me out, of course. Then I can try to go for a Will-O-Wisp if I want to. Seeing as he can't spin. So we're still six months. It's six months to five right now, so it's still looking okay. Um, I'm just gonna check something about Lycan Rock Midday. I wanna see if it gets a certain move. Did it get it now? Midday form. Yeah, it does have drill run, okay. Um, so I'm gonna have to watch out for that. With Barbarical, I mean. And I know for a fact that Life Orb Cell Rock does not knock out my uh, Scolipede from full. Lycanroc's not that strong. That's, uh, that's where it suffers. Lycanroc. Uh, only well actually it has uh, has base 115 attack, but for some reason it doesn't do that much to my Scolipede Scolipede uh, with a cell rock well when he's at level 50 does 43 to 52 without a life orb with a life orb uh, Cell rock does 56 to 68. Yeah, so it doesn't knock me out at all not in the slightest All right, so I still want my spin blocker because he still has a rapid spin um question is, do I need this anymore? Probably not. I think this would be the opportunity, honestly. Yeah. I'm gonna go for Reflect. Get up the Reflect. If he goes for webs at this point, that's fine. What's he going for? Liquidation, okay. Does he knock me out? No. So he's gonna take some poison. So I have a Reflect up now, so what this means is that unless he goes directly into his, um, into his Delmise here, I sweep him with Barbarical. So I get the attack rates <laughs> for no actual reason. He gets a rest off. That's a little bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie. So he's rest sleep talk. But I'm just gonna keep pummeling this thing. And if he goes for Sleep Talk, he has the chance to, to actually kill me with a Liquidation, and then I would go into my Barbarical. 
And I never end up without a reflect because he's slower than me. He would have to pull a switch out into the uh, into the Rotom, the turn that I uh, that the reflect goes down. That would be the only way that he would ensure that it actually stays off the field. And even that, I can switch out on the Rotom. So he doesn't have a safe switch in here. Uh, and to boot, um, he has Toxic, Liquidation, Rest, and probably Sleep Talk. So that means that he can only hit me with one of his moves. Um, and I didn't see how much that Meteor Mash did in reality. Um, Requinid, Bulky Attacker, Max HP, with some defense in it. We'll say, just say he's max defense, for example, versus my Metagross. Uh, Alphonse, at level 50, at plus one. I'm doing 24 to 28, so that's not bad. Unless his last move isn't actually Sleep Talk. Because if Liquidation is his only thing to hit Barbarical, that's not strong enough. What's he gonna go into? Kelvin, this is gonna be the Rotom. I already got damage off on this thing, and I am at plus one. So this is, this is gonna take a lot of damage if I hit. Yeah. Boom. Alright, so it's at 25, meaning that it'll die to rocks more than likely. Um, okay, so he's gonna Volt Switch here. He has to because he can't let in my Barbarical under a Reflect. If he goes for um, an Overheat, then he just straight loses. So I'm gonna go into... Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back into my, uh, into my Zapdos here. No reason not to at this point. Uh, if he brings in his Araquanid, that's fine. This thing has no recovery because it's a Scarf variant. He's going to go for T-Bolt. I am specially defensive. This is only going to do so much. Uh, that does not too much. And I'm just going to Roost again, honestly. Um, yep, yeah, Roost. And like I said, Lopini always revenges his, uh, his Lycan Rock. Because I am already Mega Evolved, so I can even switch in on it if I want to. Lycanroc is also one of his Z-move mons, I believe. It is, yeah. Uh, so, now we're back up to a decent amount of health. Uh, my Reflect wears off. He gets off a T-Bolt first. Uh, and then what I can do is go into Lopany. Um, hold on, am I Pressure or Static? I think I'm Pressure. She say Summary. Uh, no, I'm Static, I'm Static. I never saw pressure go off either. Um, yeah, so I was thinking about pressure stalling his T-Bolts, but that doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to try to get up to full. So even if he crits me here, he doesn't put me outside of range of uh, roosting back up to full. Or it, it would be very close in any, in any event. Alright, so we're going to U-turn out on this turn. He's gonna go for T-Bolt. Not a crit, good. We're gonna get off a U-turn. And seeing that um, I'm considering going into uh, Scallopede because Scallopede doesn't allow in his uh, Zam after, which is the Mon that I want to avoid coming in. That's the one thing I want to avoid coming in, is Zam. So yeah, I'm going to go into Shiro. And I'm going to go for a, uh, a Protect, seeing that he can't switch out. Uh, and even if he does, I still have my Spin Blocker, like if he goes into Delmize, so we're still good. Uh, so I'm just going to make sure I'm clicking Protect here this turn, so that he can't hit me. Uh, and then I'll go for a Thunderbolt on the following turn, and I'll knock him out. Uh, I am adamant, but I should still be faster than a Rotom. Rotom Heat. Uh... Level 15, Max V Timid versus my uh, Scolipede. Shiro, um, 149, he's 151 if he's max, but I really doubt he's absolute max, just based on the damage from Lopini from the uh, very first turn. So I'm going to go for a Poison Jab, as we are going to knock out the uh, Rotom right here. Um, and that goes down. Fantastic. So another Mon down on his side. Down goes Rotom. The bottom row is almost completely gone. So we have two speed boosts up. Uh, his Araquanid is asleep. 
Uh, basically, what I'm going to do if he goes Araquanid is I'm going to go directly into my Gorgeist. Should he pull a, um, an, a Liquidation, then I'll go into Metagross after. Actually, I have to think that through. I think I'm going to go Zapdos uh, on his uh, Araquanid, because Zapdos is a liability at this point against his Lycan Rocket setup fodder, if anything. And I want to avoid that. So I knocked out the, uh, the Rodung. I don't have uh, anything to hit the uh, Delmize, but I have something for the Lycanroc. Uh, Poison Jab does do a lot to the Araquanid, if I'm not mistaken. Araquanid, bulky attacker, max HP. Um, max defense, let's say, once again. Poison Jab at level 50. It does 37 to 44, so after rocks it is a 2 at KO. So as long as he doesn't pull Liquidation, I'm good to go. And... Um, this is my best way to revenge his uh, his Zam, so I'm not gonna let it go down. No matter what, I'm not gonna let it go down. I have quick attack on uh, on Lopini as well. So he's gonna go into his Delmize. Um, I'm tempted to actually stay in here, but then again, that's that's kind of a bad play. Uh, I'm just going to go directly into uh, into Jar. That that was that was the game plan. Uh, is going to Gorgeist on the Delmize. Uh, if he Shadow Claws, then he Shadow Claws. Good for him. What is he going to go for? I'm going to frisk the Cobra Berry. He's going to go for Anchor Shot. That will knock me out. Now, the thing here, I can let um, Gorgeist off the layout. So Jar goes down. Uh, the thing here is that I'm pretty sure that a, um, a Z-Move Stone Edge from, Z uh, from uh, Barbarical is going to knock this thing out. Delmize. Offensive spinner, because uh, at this point I don't really need to fully sweep him necessarily with um, with Barbarical. Um, I just need to kill something. <laughs> so Delmize max max uh, HP versus my Barbarical. Jiraiya when he's at level 50. Z Stone Edge does 80. Uh, he's currently at 80 something, 82 ish, 75, 80. No, he's at 84-ish. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go into Alphonse. And I'm gonna go for a Meteor Mash. Because if he spins again, he doesn't knock me out. So we're just gonna go for the Mash. Uh, and if I hit him, then he's in range of the Z-move. And that's what I'm going for. Spin doesn't knock me out. It does, like, three. <laughs> and I could potentially 2 it KO him with a Meteor Mash. He also doesn't know my last move. I probably should have just gone for HP Fire if all I wanted was damage on this thing, to put it in range of Continental Crush. That probably would have been the smarter play. Because if I miss here, I'm going to be kicking myself. We do connect. And he goes for Anchor Shot. Good. Ladies and gents, I think we got this. Uh, just gotta play this endgame correctly. So let me get rid of Metagross. So I get off the damage there that I need to put him in range of uh, not only that, but also Lopany. Lop, Mega, Walreen, 136 attack. Um. Hold on. Lopini, am I max? Yeah. Because it's not giving me my ability. Um, adamant. Fake out. I want fake out. Fake out does at level 50. 22 to 27. Yeah, that's enough. I'm going to Reen. And we'll click fake. I just need to prevent him from getting a spin off. Actually, uh, return kills max HP. I just want to see how much it does to max defense. Um, he was at 87, right? And now he's at 45. Let me calc Metagross. Metagross, Alphonse, Meteor Mash. 29 to 35 to max defense. Let's see if he's just max HP. How much do I do to him? 37 to 34. Uh, what is 80... Um, he was at 87-ish. Minus... 40. We did 47%. 
Um, yeah, so he's not max at all. Because, like, I'm thinking in case he wants to switch, right? I don't think he would switch at this point, though. I'm just going to fake out. Just to ensure it. Just in case. Flinch. No berry. Good. And uh, return. And knock this thing out. Because it's n in no universe faster than me. It's base 40 speed. So down goes that thing. All right. In comes Zam, right? Let's see Zam. Yep, he didn't nickname it. All right, interesting. Um, yeah, so we'll go to Chisei, because Chisei can still take a hit even if he subs, and I have U-turn. So we'll get out of here. And yeah, then I should be okay. So Chisei is probably going to go down right here, which is fine. Because um, Lopini cleans up his team completely. Lop got a kill, guys! Reem got a kill! Let's go! It's about damn time. Four weeks in. I don't know, uh, we have 27 minutes left on the match. I've been recording for 36, so this is gonna be a longer game than last week. That's insane. Um... Uh, also, Zam doesn't knock out Barbarical from full with anything but Energy Ball. So, I'm good to go there as well. So he has to Mega here. Not that he actually is obliged to because he's not, but he pretty much has to, essentially. Or else I would destroy him with Lob. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I gotta keep Lop in healthy because of Lycanroc, so I'm gonna go into Zapdos. I think we played this correctly this time. Uh, I made that little bit of an aggressive play, which didn't cost me the game uh, against uh, the Araquanid. Had I Seed Bomb, that would have actually been really good. He's gonna go for his Mega Evolution, like I said. He's probably got Protect on this, which is what I'm thinking. Um,. He already saw Protect on my Scallopede, so he's likely to switch out. Uh, what's he going for? He's going to trace my Static, which is actually a little bit annoying. Um, Psychic, yep. He's probably... Yeah, he's got the 2 at KO on me. Um, what would be interesting here is if he clicked Sub. So I'm going to U-turn. He's going to go for another Psychic, okay. Cool. So he brought Charty Berry on his uh, Rakunid, which is really nice. That was a really good bring. Uh, so I'm going to go into Shiro. Like I said, um, Pin Missile should have connect. Uh, let me try not to jinx myself, but Pin Missile should have connect. Uh, should put him in range of Quick Attack from Lock. So even if he has Sub Protect, I'm fine. So down goes Zapdos. Um, so yeah, we're going to Protect here. I want to see how much Araquanid does to a minus one, um, minus one Barbarical. Wow, it actually does a ton. Holy crap. So I have to knock that thing out. So I'm going to go for Protect right here. Uh, does he have Sub? Did he plan in Consequence? He does. Okay, so we have Pin Missile for this. Good, 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 good. All right. Good stuff. Speed boost. Yep. And now we pin missile and hope to God we hit. <laughs> Let's go. Play of the week. Give me a play of the week, please. <laughs> yes, we connect. All right. There's one. I'm so glad that I prepped for this. <laughs> hit. How much does this do? Holy crap. Yes, three hits. Let's go. Zam is dead. Woo! <laughs> Now I'm feeling it. Let's go. Let's go. So I took a Life Orb hit. That's fine. Because now Lop wins. Lop auto wins. Whew. I have Drain Punch, by the way, if you guys didn't notice. Oh, that pin missile. <laughs> Dom, Polly, please recognize the glory <laughs> that is Pin Missile Scallopede. 
I can't believe that actually worked. That's hilarious. Holy crap. So it's either he didn't have Protect or he had both. I'm thinking he had both. Because he doesn't need much other than Psychic Shadow Ball. Psychic Shadow Ball hits my whole team. So I, re I really, really expected Sub. So he brings in Bub. Bub is the, uh, the Asleep Araquanid. And at this point, all I have to do is just click Poison Jab. And uh, should he get a Sleep Talk roll and hit Liquidation, I just go Lopany after. Uh, and I win, essentially. So he's going to... He stays asleep, actually. Alright. Um, so a Cell Rock has to be Life Orb, I believe. From uh, I could get a sweep here with Scallopede. Uh, I'm going to go for another Poison Jab. And down goes the Araquanid. So I'm actually going to take both of those off the layout. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I'm not used to getting kills on my opponents this season. Um, where's the Araquanid? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Uh, yeah. So, Waffles comes out. <laughs> Waffles. Uh, um, he can't afford to Swords Dance. And if it's uh, fighting, he, uh, if he's scarfed into a fighting move, he doesn't kill this. Uh, so we're just going to go for Superpower. Uh, I actually have Earthquake. I meant for this to be Superpower. That's a little bit annoying, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, I actually meant for it to be Superpower. But it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Superpower was specifically for the... Um, like, to hit the Rotom on the Switch as hard as possible. And also for the Diggersby. I don't know why this stayed Earthquake. I meant to switch it. But it's alright. Um, did I switch it on my Team Builder? Shiro... Yeah, it is Super Power on my Team Builder. Okay. That's alright, though. That's okay. Earthquake should still easily knock this thing out. Um, from Scallopede, Shiro, to a Lycanroc. Lycanroc. Uh, day level 50. If Superpower does 149, then yeah, Earthquake's gonna knock him out. Uh, and a Cell Rock only does 52% max from non life orb. So, he's not Z, we know that. But uh, yeah, this game's pretty much over, so. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Let's see if he's life orb. He is, I believe. Either that or he's some kind of rock plate or banded. Yeah, he's life orb, okay. Yeah, so Reen's gonna come in. Uh, we're, we're gonna click fake out first because it doesn't change anything. Um, let me just make sure I know Lycanroc's ability. It's not like steadfast. Um, Lycanroc day. It does have steadfast. All right. Yeah, we're not clicking that. We're clicking drain punch. No freaking way. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye, doggy. All right. There we go. Serene got what? Two, three kills? I think it was two. Uh, down goes Lycanroc. That live from Zapdos was huge, guys. Absolutely huge. Um, good game to Necrostevo. What a great game, honestly. He brought a lot of the stuff that I expected, some stuff that I didn't. Trick Room was cool. Uh, the rest on Rackwinded was really nice. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Yes, save the battle video. Please save it this time. Uh, could not be recognized. Okay, well, all right, whatever. Uh, something's going on with my SD card, but I'll uh, I'll get the replay from uh, from Necro. Uh, anyway, guys, that was uh, that was a great game. Great great game, game to Necro Steve. Go and check him out in the description down below, guys, as usual, as well as all the other coaches in the GBA. We finally got our first win. Thank God. We are now uh, one in three with a minus nine record, I believe, and we're gonna try to pull it back for the rest of the season, guys. So be looking out for that. Uh, good game once again. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, of course, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, if this is your first time here, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.